good morning children and welcome to my new class so today we'll be doing our next topic in grammar and that is simple past tense or past indefinite tense now i hope that you all remember we had done simple present tense then present continuous present perfect and present perfect continuous so today we'll be starting the past tense now let us look at the simple past tense here let us first go through the rule it contains subject and the second form of the verb if it is affirmative but for a negative one we'll add did not so subject did not and first form of the verb here you'll have to take care of the verb form similarly in interrogative did will go in the beginning and then comes the subject and the first form of the verb along with a question mark let us go through the examples if i say i won the match then if i have to convert this into negative so what will it become it will become i did not win the match so whenever we are converting it into negative the verbs form will again be changed to the first form similarly did i win the match a question mark right see i wanted to give you the same example so that you can understand the rule better like if i say you did a good job so you did a good job you did not attend the class did you get a scholarship he joined the new course he did not climb the tree see when i am using did not i am using the first form of the verb i hope this is clear let us see where do we use simple past tense to express an action which is completed in the definite past for example if i say what uh, we came to this city last week to express a habit in the past when i was in dubai i always went to my office in a luxury car so i am here expressing a habit which was in the past to express an action which continued for some time in past the team worked on its project for 5 years right now let us talk about past continuous tense let us first go through the rule again the subject but here we'll use was or were the first form of the verb and ing similarly when we are changing it to negative it will become subject was were not first form of verb and ing and in interrogative was or were will come in the beginning rest the rule will remain same but don't forget to put the question mark like if i say i was telling a lie i was not telling a lie was i telling a lie i hope this is clear to you now what are the uses to express an action which was going on at some point of time in the past the teacher was teaching when i came in so here another action has not started or is probably starting and an action is still going on to express two or more actions happening simultaneously like she was doing her homework while her brother was playing a computer game i hope this is clear now you have to do this uh, 19.14 as your homework uh, i'll very quickly just go through uh, this and randomly we'll do one or two now fill in the blanks in the following sentences by using the verb in the simple past tense tina dash her new diary last monday morning so the word is begin so it will become began she dash some tickets for the next concert so she booked some tickets for the next concert i hope you are able to do this around 20 parts are there we'll be discussing all these parts in my zoom class next exercise 19.15 you have to use past continuous tense right i dash for my key so i was looking for my key right mom was not planning anything yesterday right i hope you have understood it similarly 19.16 you have to use simple past or past continuous it means first you'll have to read the sentence and try to understand which one would be the best 
like i dash watch tv when she dash call so i was watching tv when she called i hope this is clear to you 19.16 you'll be doing it and similarly 19.17 you have to change these into negative form they met only once so you have to remember the rule they did not meet only once i hope this is clear to you 19.18 change the given sentences into affirmative forms did i write a letter question mark now here did word tells me that it is in past tense so i'll write i wrote a letter right and you have to write in both so i was writing a letter both the things will be there i hope this is clear to you and rest will be starting in my next class so meanwhile please complete these exercises in your book so that we can discuss them so have a nice day and keep learning